Welcome to Courageous Conversation with Teresa W. Gamble, a cultural storytelling, gracious space to bridge generational gaps through active listening and action-oriented changes. Black is beautiful, but what's more beautiful is when your skin is clean and clear. Join me, Tina Noble, your independent consultant with Burban and Fields. I'll be sitting one-on-one talking on Courageous Conversations with Teresa W. Gamble. And what I'll share are different techniques, methods of proper skin care, various regimens, as well as techniques that you can use to make sure that your skin remains flawless, clean, clear, and beautiful. Again, that's Tina Noble on Courageous Conversations with Teresa W. Gamble. Hear us only on Spotify and iHeartRadio on Wednesdays, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Speaking of the pandemic, and you are absolutely right. Speaking of the pandemic, two things, okay? So, one, mask me. That's a big thing because we have to wear that mask on our face. If you have one that's a, um, a washable mask, try to wash your mask a couple of times a week. And it really depends on if you wear makeup or not. If you wear makeup, do not put that same mask on. Like wear that mask for that day, wash it and redo it again or have a multiple mask so that you can change your mask daily. I like the disposable ones uh, a little bit better because you can get a couple of uses out of it and then dispose of it. But you have, mask me is another thing. So because a lot of people within their fields, they have, they're required to wear a mask all day. So you have to make sure that you are hydrate, that hydration and that, um, that moisture is in, is, is on your face because it will help, uh, from the breakouts and it will help with the dryness that comes from wearing the mask all the time. That's right. number one. Number two, a lot of people, and you talked about this at the top of the uh, segment, but a lot of people have had um, allergic reactions from their COVID shots. Now, I did not look at the study because di the different between the three, there's different reactions. But surprisingly, 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 African Americans only account for, there's been about maybe 7% that have had allergic reactions from their vaccine shot. Oh, wow. 7%. So I was really alarmed to see that number. 65% uh, white. 7% black. Um, and then we have, well, 85% were more common uh, to have it, to, to, you know, break out or, or to have um, a reaction. 85% women. Oh, wow. Were more bare, you know, versus 15% men, but 65, 62% white, 7% black, and then 12% Asian. So they did not, the study that I looked at was from US News. Um, that was like a June 20, 2021 study that they showed. And um, they did not talk about like the Latina descent or any other descent, uh, American, uh, Native American or anything like that. Or Pacific Islanders, okay. Right, or Pacific Islanders, but they did talk about that. So um, I was shocked when I saw only 7%. I was actually kind of, yay, you know, yeah, we uh -huh. got enough issues. That's but, true. But um, one of the things that one of the, you know, reactions is itchy skin. Right. So, um, and it, they say that it dies down after a while. It's usually for some, they experience it after the first shot, but others, it was might after the second shot, along with other reactions that they've had, you know, the headaches and things of that nature. But in terms of the skincare, you could probably try over the counter um, hydrocortisone cream that might kind of ease it a little bit for you. Um, what else, like a Benadryl? you know, something that we would take, you know, when we kind of have that itchiness and that redness. Vaseline, you could probably use like a, try to use a real sheer coat of Vaseline over it or olive oil. Okay. That's good. Definitely. 
definitely, definitely. And then it doesn't, you know, last long. Your reactions don't last long. If it lasts, if it persists for more than a few days and you have not found a relief or resolve, then definitely go to a dermatologist or contact your doctor and maybe they can prescribe something that's a little bit stronger to help ease that for you. I didn't think about like oatmeal bath. (laughs) Awesome oatmeal bath. <laughs> okay, now you talking about the oatmeal that you um like the, the kitchen. Look, I'm finna say out the kitchen cabinet because yeah. we need yeah. to clarify. But you know what? There probably is. If you Google, there probably is a way that you could take like a cup of the oats and put it in with like maybe some milk or something like that. Milk calms the skin. Really? Milk is a real good um, yeah. a a lot of times people will take like a milk bath or like, and put like a little bit of oatmeal in it, like a home, home type spa type Mm -hmm. treatment. But Mm -hmm. yeah, milk is real soothing on the skin. It actually calms milk actually calms your, like when you have um, eczema and it's in that stage where it's itchy and flaky and things of that nature, milk is a calming, it's, it's a soother as well. So if you don't have the time to take the milk baths, um, what about some of the milk? I've seen some milk um, products that's on, that operates like a lotion or a body wash. You could try it. I, don't, I haven't tried it, so I don't know. Okay. But you can try it. I mean, again, trial and error. Our skin, everybody, what works for one person don't necessarily work for everybody. Gotcha. So, you know... You just, it's trial and error. And unfortunately, like I said, a lot of us, when we were younger, some people might've known these home remedies. Mm-hmm. And my mama did, you know? <laughs> so my mama went to, took me to the dermatologist and we used some of that. But again, eating, you know, if we can come out, you know, try to lessen our stress, you know, meditation can help with that prayer for sure, for sure. Yeah. Um, lessen our stress, um, you know, control alcohol, con- you know, alcohol intake for a lot of people. Cause sometimes that can like, you know, push out that, you know, the, the, the affect our skin, should I say, um, you know, what you're putting in your mouth. I say 80, 20 rule, try to do 80%, you know, healthy and, and as much live foods as you possibly can. And the other 20% will be our junk food. You know, I'm a chip lover. I, I love me some chips. I love me some fried chicken wings here and there. I am a <laughs> potato girl. Uh, <laughs> you know, wow. sometimes fast food, when you're out there, you know, you're getting your fast food, but get a sad salad as well. You know, try to just try to incorporate every time you're putting something in your mouth, fresh fruits and vegetables, try to put something, you know, when you're eating wrong, try to put something good with it. Got it. That's 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 simple as saying when you eat yourself. <laughs> Look, so we are allowed to have, have some cheat days, but we need to eat practice more healthy eating and lifestyle, not just for our skin, but um holistically for our internal organs. Because you uh, it is true, you are what you eat. Yes, you are. Yes, you are what are. you eat. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have learned so much today. Got some best tips and practices on self-care. Skin Care 101 for African Americans with Tina, Miss Tina Noble and her company, <laughs> Rodanin. Rodan and Fields. Rodan and Fields. Because I've never heard of it. So I am going to make sure I check that out. I'm glad that um, the hair, skincare line they offer is holistic. It's for all genders, all um, braces, all colors. So that's um, a plus. And um, also, <laughs> she was also telling us we need to make sure that I, we watch our three things, our diet, hydration, and cleaning our face. She said, make sure you wash your hands before you wash your face. I hope y'all listening out there. So y'all getting upset with these people who be telling y'all to wear your mask and social distance. It's for a reason because everybody's regiment for personal hygiene is different. And we need to be good stewards of taking care of this skin and this body and listen to those signs and symptoms when something is going on. On the inside, it's going to come out on the outside. So, Miss Tina Noble, before we go, what is um, the first step we need to do as African-Americans to start our self-care, skin care, one-on-one journey? 
relax. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Namaste. Relax. Yep. Relax. Relax. You know, our skin is going to be with us till we pass away. So it's a it's a stepping tool. And if one product doesn't work for you, try a different one. Look for things that have retinol with an A as opposed to retinol with an O. Both of them do the same thing, but retinol with an A works faster for our skin. And it just, it does the work like 11 times faster. Wow. So Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. That is yeah. good to know. That is so good to know. So again, give us the website where we can order this Rodan Fields products so <laughs> we can get on some Christmas shopping for before Black Friday in uh, November and December to bless our family members and friends and co-workers with some skincare, self-care love. It's HTTPS colon backslash backslash or forward slash forward slash brown skin dot my R N F dot com. That's good. B-R-O-W-N-S-K-I-N dot m y r a n d f dot com and that'll bring you right over to me or you can check me out on facebook under um rodan and fields tina noble rodan and fields that sounds great well you've been listening to courageous conversations coming to you live with this this life care series Skin Care, Self Care 101 for African Americans. So we can do our job and follow and keep that phrase black don't crack. <laughs> <laughs> so I love stay, it. yeah, so stay tuned and keep listening. There's more to come from Miss Tina Noble. Remember, she is launching our Savvy Credit Strategies in October so you want to make sure you're tuning and listening in and then we're going to keep the conversation going on the Facebook page for Courageous Conversations and our pay-per-view page of Vista where you can watch and see this beautiful skin that Miss Tina Noble is <laughs> gleaning and glowing on this screen that I get to see and she does not have on makeup y'all she looks no. real good real no, good I'm natural <laughs> so keep subscribing, stay connected, follow us on Facebook, connect with Tina Noble, order your products online. I'm quite sure she offers samples. So before yes. you to try yeah. before you buy. So just reach out to her, get the samples, test it, try it, see if it works and do what we need to do as part of our self-care regimen. This is your host, mm -hmm. Teresa W. Gamble with Tina Noble with Skin Care Self Care 101, Rodan and Fields. You can find her at Brown Skin. She said, don't use www, y'all. So, but I think the best thing to do, just follow her on social media and look for Rodan and Fields and get your best tips. So stay tuned and stay connected. And always, 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 thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you for listening to Courageous Conversation with Teresa W. Gamble, bridging generational gaps through active listening and action-oriented changes.